so a is equal to p into see next time after 5 minute i will not allow anybody okay because you are getting disturbed chal so solve this 62500 is equal to not 62 67600 is equal to p into p is 62500 into 1 plus r upon 2 into 100 200 raised to 2n what you will take n yes what you will take n how many half year are you my dear how many half year Yes. Ha. Huh. So n is one year. So that is two into one. Two multiplied by one. So sixty sixty seven thousand six hundred. This will go in the division. Sixty two thousand five hundred is equal to one plus r upon two hundred raised to two. So two zeros get cancelled. Two zeros get cancelled. Sixty-seven. Ha. Huh. Now you find square root. Ha. Huh. So yes. So this is six six seventy-six means twenty-six into twenty-six upon twenty-five into twenty-five is equal to one plus r upon hundred raised to two. Okay. So simplify. What you will get? Hmm. So twenty six upon twenty five. Ha, upon two hundred. Two into hundred. Two hundred is equal to one plus r upon two hundred. Okay. So twenty six upon twenty five minus one is equal to r upon two hundred. So cross multiply twenty six. Ha, one upon twenty five is equal to r upon two hundred. So 200 upon 25, ha, huh, is equal to r. So r is equal to 8 percent. R is equal to 8 percent. R is equal to 8 percent. Clear this part? So this complete our 3C. This complete our 3C. Now we will start 3D. Only this much in three C. Okay, we have done first. We have done second. We have done fourth. We have done six. Four problems are there. Now let us start three D. Three D. That is the problem of depreciation. So whenever there is a reduction or depreciation formula, instead of plus, we write minus. Okay. For depreciation, you write on this. For depreciation, depreciation or reduction. For depreciation or reduction, the formula instead of plus, we write the formula for A as P into one minus R upon hundred raised to n. For yearly. Okay. Then the same formula. If the rate of interest are different, then what do we write? One minus R one upon hundred. Into one minus R two upon hundred. If the rate of interest are different for different year, is it clear, my dear? So whenever it is depreciation, we have to change the formula. Instead of plus, we write minus. Let us see the problem first. The cost of a machine is supposed to depreciate each year by twelve percent. So three D first. Three D first problem. The cost of the machine depreciates every year by twelve percent. So rate of interest is twelve percent. Okay. Then its value at the beginning of the year. Okay. So it depreciates twelve percent. Where? Yes. Depreciation. Write down this. Depreciation is. At the beginning of the year, 
Depreciation is at the beginning of the year. Remember, at the beginning of the year. Depreciation is at the beginning of the year. This is given in the question. If the machine is valued at forty-four thousand at the beginning of two thousand eight, at the beginning of two thousand eight, okay, at the beginning of two thousand eight. At the beginning of 2008, you have to understand. Nothing is there. At the beginning of 2008, the price is rupees 44,000. The cost of the machine is 44,000. Okay. At the beginning of year 2008, at the beginning of year 2008, it cost 44,000. Okay. Find its value at the end of 2009. So first, find the value, the value of machine, the value of machine at the end of, at the end of 2009, at the end of 2009. So there is nothing in this problem see here. Now in the beginning, beginning of year 2008. This is my beginning, beginning of year 2008. Okay, the price is forty four thousand. The price is forty four thousand. Okay. Now we have to calculate the price at the end of, at the end of two thousand nine. Now tell me how much duration is there? From beginning of two thousand eight, not one year, my dear, not one year. From beginning of two thousand eight to end of two thousand nine. See here. Ha, uh, two years. So beginning of two thousand eight to beginning of beginning of two thousand nine. How many year? One year. Then from beginning of two thousand nine to end of two thousand nine, one year. So what is the duration? Tell me. Two year, no. So here n is equal to two year. N is equal to two year. Remember this. If it is given beginning of year two thousand nine, then one year. It is given end of year two thousand nine, so it will be two year. Yes, this is clear. Yes or no? Yes. Ha! Huh, this is clear. This now there is nothing in this. There is nothing. Only the part which you require to understand is this much. You are given the price at the beginning of year 2008, and it is asked what will be the price at the end of year 2009. So, beginning of 2008 to end of 2009, what is the duration? This you have to understand. So, beginning of 2008 to beginning of 2009, it will be one year. The beginning of 2009 to end of 2009 will be one year. So, total duration is two year. Then there is nothing. Find the value of the machine at the end of 2009. So this this amount I will consider principal amount. No, this amount will be my principal amount. So here principal amount is 44,000 because that is the initial amount. No, the initial amount is known as principal amount. So what is the amount at the beginning of 2008? 44,000. That I will consider my principal amount. Rate of interest is twelve percent given. Twelve percent. So find the amount at the end of two thousand nine. Means you have to find A. You have to find A. So use the formula since this is the problem of depreciation, and it is yearly. Every year it depreciates. So this is the problem of yearly. So use the formula for A. A is equal to P into one minus R upon hundred. In the depreciation, it is R minus raised to n. So A is equal to P forty four thousand into one minus R is twelve upon hundred raised to n. Duration is two year. So A is forty four thousand. Yes, is it clear? Is anybody has any doubt in this? The understanding is beginning of two thousand eight to end of two thousand nine. It will be two year. So simplify one minus, ah, you can.
can cancel them by 3 fours are 12, 25 fours are 100, 1 minus 3 upon 25, raised to 2. So, A is equal to 44,000, 44,000 into 25 minus 3, 22, 22 upon 25 raised to 2. So, A is equal to 44,000, 44,000 into 22 upon 25, into 22 upon 25. Yes, cancel them. You can cancel 25, see here. 25, 44,000. You can cancel them by 5. Karo. I say cancel. Karo. 5, 5 is a 25. 5, 8 is a 40. 5, 8 is a 40. Then two zeros will come. Again, you can cancel them by five. Five, one ja five. Then thirty-eight. Five seven ja thirty-five. Five six ja thirty. Then zero. One seven six zero. Then you can cancel them. Twenty-five six ja one fifty. One fifty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-five seven ja one one seventy-five. Na. चलो कैंसिल करो फाइव से फाइव फाइव जा ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव थ्री जा फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन फाइव थ्री देन ट्वेंटी सिक्स फाइव फाइव जा ट्वेंटी फाइव देन फाइव टू जा टेन नाउ यस नाउ व्हाट यू विल गेट सिंपली फाइव हम्म व्हाट यू गेट you can cancel, okay, so 352, so amount at the beginning of, at the end of year 2009 is A, so A is 352 into 22 into 22 upon 5, you can cancel them, okay, so A is equal to 5 and the, huh, 352 into 484 upon 5. Hello. So multiply 352 and 484. Let us see. 484. Don't use calculator. 4 2 is 8. 4 5 is 20. 4 3 is 12. Plus 2 14. 8 2 is 16. 8 5 is 40 plus 1. 41. 8 3 is 24. Plus. Ha. Yes. 1. 1, 4, 2 is 8, 4, 5 is 20, 4, 3 is 12, 12, hmm? 4, 2 is 8, 4, 5 is 20, okay, 8, 6, 3, 9, 10, 1 lakh 70,000, yes, same answer. 1,70,368 point upon 5. Divide this. So, A is equal to rupees. 5, 3 is a 15. Huh, 3, 5 is a 15. Then uh, 20. 5, 4 is a 20. Then 0. 5, 7 is a 35. 5, 3 is a... Huh? 5, 3 is a 18. 5, 3 is a... 18 then point 6 ha so a amount is rupees 34073.6 you can write 60 no problem so amount at the end of year 2009 is 34073.60 now find the amount at the beginning of 2007 yes tell me at the beginning of 2007 you have to think at the beginning of year 2007 there is nothing in this problem see beginning of 2000 beginning of 2007 okay and we are given beginning of 2008 which amount is given tell me beginning of year 2008 amount is given 44000 no you have to find huh so you have to find the amount at the beginning of 2007. So which amount you have to find? Tell me. 
Yes. What is the duration? What is the duration? Tell me. What is what is the duration? One year. Duration is one year. Beginning of 2007 to beginning of 2008. Duration is one year. Here duration is one year. Okay. One year. Now you tell me, this 44,000 now will become the amount, and we have to find the principal amount. Yes or no? Yes. If it is the if it is asked, what is the amount one year before? One year before means the initial amount. The initial amount is my principal amount and you are given the current amount that is 44,000. So this is my accumulated amount. Yes or no? Yes, anybody has any doubt? No, no. This you, this you write. This is for explanation. Okay. So we have to understand no, first. Okay. So find the amount at the beginning of 2007. That is my principal amount. So write down. Amount at the beginning of year 2007. Amount at the beginning of. Amount at the beginning of year 2007. Year 2007 is my principal amount which we have to find okay and now this amount will be my accumulated amount yes anybody has any doubt try to understand there is nothing in this question only one year before so for current year 2008 this will become the accumulated amount rate of interest is same every year it depreciates 12 percent then duration is one year find the amount P. So what is the formula? A is equal to P into, now it depreciates. So 1 minus R upon 100 raised to N. So simplify A is now 44,000. A will be 44,000. For year 2009, 44,000 was my beginning amount, principal amount. But for year, one year before 2007, this will be my 44,000 will be my accumulated amount. So, A is equal to 44,000 into 1 plus, sorry, is equal to P into 1 minus R 12 upon 100 raised to N, N is 1 year. And we write down the formula for yearly because every year it depreciates. Every year it depreciates. So 44,000, 44,000 is equal to P into 1 minus 3 upon 25. Ha, so 44,000 is equal to P into 22 upon 25. Okay. So 25 will go up 44,000 into 25 and 22 will come in the denominator. Is it? Ha. Yes, 20. Uh, 22 to the 44, so 2000 into 25, which is 50,000. Yes, 50,000 is my P. So, amount at the beginning of year 2007 is my principal amount. So, write down amount of machine. Or what is asked? Uh, find its value. So, write down the value of the machine. The value of the machine at the beginning of year 2007. The value of machine at the beginning of year 2007, at the beginning of year, beginning of year 2007 is 50,000. Because every year it depreciates. Okay, so price will go on reducing every year. Ha, huh, rupees, rupees, rupees. Rupees is important. Rupees 50,000. Yes. So now, second, third, hello, we will do third one. Second is omitted, now third one we will do. Second is omitted, third one we will do. According to a census taken towards the end of year 2009, the population of a rural town was found to be 64,000. 
at the end of year 2009. Okay. So the census of a population was taken and it was found that at the end of year 2009, third one, at the end of, at the end of year 2009, at the end of year 2009, the population is, is population is how much? Population is, population is 64,000. 64,000 is the population at the end of year 2009. Okay. Then, the census authority also found that the population of this particular town had a growth of 5% per annum. Growth means increase. So, rate of interest is 5%. 5% and this is the growth. Question number 11 was depreciation. Now, this is the problem of growth. So, growth we write plus only. Depreciation we write minus in the formula. Okay. In how many years after 2009 did the population of this town reaches 74,088? In how many years? So after 2009, in how many years? In how many years? The population reaches to, the population reaches to 74,088. The population reaches to 74,088. So, can you tell me what will be this? Ha, 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 ha. No, no, wait. 74,088. What will be this? This question is same as, the, this is my initial amount. This is my initial amount. And this is my amount at the end. So, what is this amount? 64,000. This is my principal amount, yes or no? This is my principal. 64,000 is the population in the beginning. Okay. At the end of year 2009, after 2009, in how many years? How many years it will take to reach the population to this? This is same as this amount become this amount in how many years? This amount become this amount in how many years? So, this is my amount A. Yes? Is it clear? Is it clear, my dear, this problem? Do not get worried about the population. You simply take the logic. At the end of year 2009, this is my amount. So, this is the initial. And in how many years, this amount becomes this amount. That means, we have to find N. We have to find N. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Ah, so, now you, which formula you will use? So, use A is equal to P into, what you will write? 1 minus or 1 plus? Are my dear, 1 plus, because this is growth. Growth hai. Growth is there, it is not depreciation. So, 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. Raised to N. So, A is 74,088. A is 74,088. A is 74,088 is equal to 1 P. P is 64,000 into 1 plus R upon 100. R is 5 upon 100. Raise to N. Yes, it will work out. 74,088. This will go in the division upon 64,000 is equal to 1 plus 5, you can cancel 5 ones are 5, 520. Ha, ha. So, 1 plus 1 upon 20, 1 plus 1 upon 20 raised to n. n we have to find. So, 74,088 upon 64,000 is equal to 21 upon 20 raised to n. 21 upon 20 raised to n. Okay, so now you can cancel them, yes, you can cancel them, huh. by 4, Chalo. factorize this, do not get worried, factorize this, Chalo. Huh. 8 
प्लस एट सिक्सटीन यू कैन डिवाइड बाई टू बाय फोर चलो फोर से हो रहा है लेटर सी फोर वन जा फोर थर्टी फोर फोर एट जा थर्टी टू फोर फाइव जा ट्वेंटी फोर टू जा टू फोर टू जा टू अगेन बाई टू हम्म फोर से कैंसिल होगा नहीं टू नाइन जा एटीन ओके टू टू जा फोर टू सिक्स जा ट्वेल्व टू वन जा टू नाउ बाई सी डिविजिबिलिटी ऑफ टू इज ओवर नाउ लेट अस सी थ्री नाइन प्लस टू लेवन लेवन प्लस सिक्स सेवेंटीन सेवेंटीन प्लस वन वन एटीन इफ सम ऑफ द डिजिट इज डिविजल बाय थ्री देन वी कैन डिवाइड द नंबर बाय थ्री सो थ्री 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 जै नाइन देन थ्री एट जै ट्वेंटी फोर थ्री एट जै ट्वेंटी फोर देन थ्री सेवन जै ना यस थ्री सेवन जै ट्वेंटी वन यस करेक्ट अगेन बाय थ्री चलो थ्री थ्री वन जै थ्री थ्री टू जै सिक्स थ्री नाइन जै देन अगेन बाय थ्री चलो थ्री 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 जै नाइन थ्री फोर जै ट्वेल्व थ्री थ्री फोर्टी थ्री देन बाय थ्री थ्री वन जै थ्री थ्री वन जै थ्री थ्री हाँ नो नो नॉट थ्री थ्री फोर्टी थ्री हाउ थ्री फोर्टी थ्री यू कैन नॉट डिवाइड बाय थ्री सेवन यस सेवन सेवन बिकॉज सम ऑफ द डिजिट यू कैन नॉट डिवाइड बाय थ्री नो सेवन फोर जै ट्वेंटी एट देन सिक्स सिक्सटी थ्री सेवन नाइन जै फोर्टी नाइन चलो फोर्टी नाइन सेवन हाँ सेवन 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 जै सेवन ओके लेटेस्ट फैक्टर है सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड लेटेस्ट फैक्टर है सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड सिक्सटी फोर ओनली सिक्सटी फोर ओनली चलो सिक्स हाँ सिक्सटी फोर ओनली और सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड हाँ फोर सिक्सटीन फोर सिक्सटीन फोर फोर जा देन फोर वन जा लेटेस्ट सी हाउ यू विल कैंसिल दिन लेटेस्ट सी एनीथिंग गेट कैंसिल सो सेवन फोर जीरो एट एट सेवन फोर जीरो एट एट आई विल राइट फोर इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री थ्री टाइम्स थ्री इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री देन सेवन इंटू सेवन थ्री टाइम्स सेवन इंटू सेवन इंटू सेवन अपॉन फोर इंटू फोर इंटू फोर दैट इज सिक्सटी फोर देन थाउजेंड इज Thousand, thousand is also there. Into one thousand. So I will write ten into ten into ten. Okay, is equal to twenty one upon twenty raised to n. Let us cancel. Four four get cancel. Hello. Then. Then. Ha. Two one the two 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 the four. Then. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. So this is nothing but three into three into three into seven into seven into seven upon. I can write two into four. I can write two into two into ten into ten into ten. Okay. Now we don't know what is my n. So twenty one upon twenty raised to n. Okay. Okay. so now if you take cube root so whenever we take square root we take number ones we take two number ones we take two number ones whenever we take square root whenever we take cube root we take three number ones okay so this is 3 3 7 3 3 so this i can write this i can write 3 into 7 हाँ थ्री इंटू सेवन अपॉन टू इंटू टेन होल रेस टू थ्री ना होल रेस टू थ्री बिकॉज वी आर टेकिंग थ्री नंबर नो यस यू आर अंडरस्टूड हाँ हाँ इफ यू आर इफ यू आर नॉट अंडरस्टूड लेट मी राइट वन मोर वे थ्री रेस टू थ्री इंटू सेवन रेस टू थ्री अपॉन टू रेस टू थ्री इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन अपॉन ट्वेंटी रेस टू एन 
Now 3 raised to 3 into 7 raised to 3, I can write 3 into 7 whole raised to 3. Then 2 into 10 whole raised to 3, I can write whole raised to 3. This is equal to 21 upon 20 raised to n. So 21 upon 20 raised to 3, 21 upon 20 raised to 3 is equal to, yes understood, everybody has any doubt? 21 upon 20 raised to 3 is equal to 21 upon 20 raised to n. Yes, so whenever base is same, base is same, we can compare power. For comparing the power, the base should be same. What is my base? 21 by 20, 21 by 20. Ha, huh, 3 years. So comparing powers, you will get n is equal to 3 years. So in 3 years, the amount 64,000 becomes 74,088. So the amount means population. Yes, the population becomes this. Yes, clear? Hmm. Now we will do, now we will do seventh one. Four, five, six are omitted, others are omitted. Now seventh one. Now start seventh one. A sum of money is lent out. So lending amount, borrowed amount, invested amount, all are known as principal amount. Okay. So a money is lent out at compound interest on a certain rate per annum becomes three times of itself in ten years. Okay. So seventh one. A money lent out. So, lent out amount means principal amount, principal amount, okay. So, lent out amount, we write principal amount, okay, okay. At compound interest per annum, it becomes three times of itself in 10 years, means duration, duration in 10 years. Yes, the principal amount becomes three times of it. Means amount A. Amount A is 3P. Yes or no? Yes? Huh. Amount A will be 3P. Yes or no? Amount A will be 3P. Okay. Amount A will be 3P. So, amount A is 3 times P in 10 years. Then what is given? Find in how many years will, this, will the money become 27 times of itself at the same rate of interest per annum. At the same rate of interest per annum. In how many years? Okay. So, find out. So first you calculate R. So what is the formula for A? First you have to find A. Rate is of interest is not given. Huh. So A is equal to, it is yearly. So P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. But amount A is thrice of principal amount. So 3P is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. So 3P upon P, 3P upon P is equal to 1 plus, ha, ha, yes, 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 we write 10, we write 10, R is not given. So P, P get cancelled, P, P get cancelled, so 3, so 3 is equal to 1 plus R upon 100 raised to 10, so 3 is equal to 1 plus R upon 100 raised to 10. Okay. Ha, no, we will keep this there only. We will keep this. Okay. We will keep this there only. Now, what is given in the second condition? Second condition. Second condition. Second condition. In second condition, find in how many years Duration is not given. In how many years? The money will become 27 times of itself. 
27 times. So means amount A will be 27 times of itself. No. So 27 times 27P. Yes. 27P. With the same rate of interest. Again rate of interest is not given. So we will keep R only. So use the formula. Use the formula. Yes. Use the formula. So what you will get? Ha, A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N raised to N in how many years? So now see what we will do for second part. For second part because N is also not given, R is also not given. Yes? Ha, ha. So what, what we will do see, we will take let principal amount be 100 rupees. For second part, we assume let principal amount be 100 rupees. Is it clear? So, what will be my amount? Huh, what will be my amount? A? Huh, 27p. 27p. So, A will be 27,000. 27 into 100. So, A will be 2,700. 2700. Okay. Now use the formula. A is now in how many years? Rate of interest we consider R only. So use the formula A is equal to use the formula A is equal to A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. Now how many years that we don't know? A is given, huh. hmm. what by other way? Chalo, thick, 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 thick. See, if you are if you are not comfortable with this, you can proceed by our normal method. Chalo, normal method. A is equal to 27p, R is equal to R only. Okay. Now proceed. Don't do not take hundred. What is the formula for a? A is equal to p into one plus r upon hundred raised to n. So a is twenty seven p twenty seven p upon p is equal to one plus r upon hundred raised to n. Yes. Without taking hundred also you can do it. So p p get cancelled. P p get cancelled. So, 27 is equal to 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. Correct? 27 I can write 3 Q. Yes or no? 27 I can write? Huh, 27 I can write 3 Q. Yes? 27 I can write 3 Q. 3 Q is equal to 1 plus R upon 100 raised to n. Okay. Ha, yes. So now this value of 3 I will put there. This value of 3 I will put there. So put 3 is equal to put 3 is equal to 1 plus r upon ha, yes. Are my dear we are we are there in the class. We are there in the class. Mm, mute the microphone. Yes, is it clear? This value of 3. Put 3 is equal to this. Not this 3. Okay. Put this 3 is equal to this. Not both the 3. So you will get 1 plus R upon 100 raised to 3. Ha, raised to 3. Raised to 3. Raised to 3 is equal to 1 plus R upon 100 raised to n. So use the law of indices a raised to m raised to n is a raised to m into n m n power raised to power ha huh, so yes so power raised to power multiply the powers power raised to power multiply the power so you will get one plus r upon hundred our class is up to 
Huh? We have extended the time. Raised to 30 is equal to 1 plus r upon 100 raised to n. Our time is up to which? Huh? 1030. I extended. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Comparing powers we get, n is equal to 30. Yes. Comparing. <laughs> n is equal to 30. Now I have taken all your break. Next time I will give you break. Okay, now we stop here. Bye everybody. We are having six six period also. Bye, 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 bye.